Hello, 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 Jackie DeWitt here, and today I'm gonna to make this video on foiling. Um, I did do a couple of pieces that I painted and put the gold foil on, and a lot of people are messaging me how to do it. It is surprisingly extremely easy, and uh, the results are amazing. Um, it requires a little bit of cleanup when you're done. Um, it is very, very thin stuff, so I'm just gonna get right into it. So I painted this piece, um, with uh, Damask, so Fusion Mineral Damask, and then I took the Fusion Metallics um, Champagne, and then I just did some highlights, and I've already done this uh, part here with the gold foil. Um, hopefully you can see that. And uh, then I will show you um, the process that I do. So I love doing the details. So I'm gonna do this detail along the bottom of the doors right now. Um, the product that I'm using is gold metallic leaf, sorry, not gold, silver metallic leaf flakes. So I have gold and silver. These are sold at our local dollar store. And just to give you an idea how crazy this stuff is, I usually keep a paper plate with me. And as you can see, they, it is very, very thin and there's many, many layers in here. So you only want one layer when you go to do your foil. So you see this stuff? It's very, very thin, like very, and it will fly around everywhere and it will make a massive mess. So you want to make sure that you lay out a couple of your pieces. Now, the reason why I use the flakes as opposed to the paper or the sheets rather is number one, ease of putting it on the furniture. I, I, I haven't done it yet where I have done a solid um, gold foil or silver foil and I find the sheets are they kind of lean towards that type of application these flakes however they allow you to make sort of an antique uh, just put it where you want it kind of look and I that's what I'm really looking for um, especially with this piece so I kind of want it to look antique but I'm not I'm not distressing this piece at all um, usually I'll distress it or I'll paint some artwork on it this time I'm leaving it simple and I'm just having the I want to call it the detail uh, to stick out. So like I say, I've already done this. So I'm going to do the bottom of the doors. So the only other product that I use uh, is the Mod Podge, but you could use any glue, uh, like just school glue, white glue, mix it with some water, get it just to a thin um, consistency. Uh, I always use a brush that I can throw away because these get really gummed up and they get really gross. Uh, they're not really reusable after, unfortunately. But um, I'm going to turn this piece and I'm just going to lay the glue down along here, kind of like I would just paint a color. Um, you want a nice uniform uh, line, you want it to be consistent. And then I have an extra brush, I'll call it the dry brush. And it's not going to be all gummed up with glue. So then it will help me push the product in and get it where I want it. So typically I wouldn't use this great big piece. I would kind of rip it off into pieces. And then you just lay it on. Your fingers will be pretty nasty by the end of it, but it's just glue. So it's easily washed up with water. So cleanup is really easy. The application is kind of funny at first, but it's very, very easy once you get into it. So now I'm just taking the little bits and I'm filling in little spots just so that I get it all over there. And then I take my push brush because now we've kind of covered all the glue and I just push it in. And then anything that's not adhered down to that glue will flake right off, which is what you want it to do. I don't want to layer this and be one solid uh, silver mess. I kind of want to make this all chunky and really cool looking, like vintage, worn out. Uh, I don't want it to be a solid piece. And if you get chunks, you get parts that pill up, just pull it off, grab another piece and stick it on there. I use my fingers a lot. So was, well, I have a brush, but I typically don't use it. So I'm not gonna start for the sake of the video. I'm just gonna do what I do. 
I find when I use my finger, I can get it in and on the item a little bit better. Um, there isn't a chance of me catching some of the glue with the bristle and, and then having it stick up. I just take my thumb, push it in there, and just wipe the excess glue along the top. It dries clear, so it's not a big deal. There's an idea of one side done and the other side waiting. So that is literally how to use foil. It is very, very easy. Um, you can get really, really creative. And this is the type of the look <laughs> that I'm going for, which is what is on my fingers. Chunky, uh, worn out. I want it to look like back in the day, it was this luxurious item and it's aged gracefully. That's what I want this piece to look like just because of the detail of the piece. Uh, it's very feminine, which is why I chose pink. It was a very, very dark cabinet. And um, I'm very excited to see how this is going to turn out. So I'll uh, post some pictures of the finished product. But for now, that is my video. Good luck. Get foiling. Get creative. Bye.